It's the weekend and there's fire in the sky. Okay, good news. We've had so much earth, so much earth. The sun is in Leo, the moon is in Aries. We're talking about feisty. It's the summer in North America. It means that we've got cause to use this weekend to party, to play, to be physical, to get outside, to enjoy the warmth. If you're not feeling fire, something is sniffy, better known as a little bit suspicious, better known as fishy. Sun and Leo, Moon and Aries. Direct energy, unbelievable courage, willingness to stick their neck out. They belong to the giraffe club. A baby born with this drives the parents crazy to begin with and then they're so proud because this kid's athletic, this kid stands out, this kid is shy. No one ever tells you Leo's shy. With this Moon and Aries, it doesn't let them be shy because they've got to move some energy. So that's the first part. Saturn's in Pisces opposite, we've talked about this, Mercury and Mars and Virgo. So there is a control knob built into this personality born today, this baby. Because with Saturn opposite anything, there's a dialogue and Saturn is the planet of the grown-up, of the governor, and Mars and Mercury is their thought process and the way they put energy out in the world. So then there's the birthdays. I love this. Neil Armstrong was a Leo on August 5th standing on the moon. Can we just talk about, as an astrologer, how much joy I got that those pictures were taken in our generation and how it changed the whole nature of reality when we suddenly got so far out, said my favorite word, the observer, that we could look back at Earth and go, that place is beautiful. And by the way, it's blue. It's called Earth. It's not green over the green or brown. It is blue. So it's really an ocean that we live on. However, we're not talking about water today. We're talking about fire. We're talking about earth. We're talking about chi. We're talking about the ability to see the big picture and be really blunt and honest about it. And I'm going to challenge you. What do you do with your fire? Are you having fun this lifetime? Do you have chi? Do you have get up and go? If you've lost it, that's why you go for an astrology reading. And you go to DebraSilvermanAstrology.com and you say, I need to understand where my chi went because there's no reason on a day like today to not. When I see this Saturday morning that the moon's in Aries, you bet I'll be on my bike. I'm going to go for a hike. I'm going to go for a run. I'm going to go and make sure that I do yoga because I take advantage of the moon and I bring it on to earth. And that's why you're watching these videos. Please use the chi. The chi is waiting for you and for me. It's a little rhyme. And in honor of Neil Armstrong, and by the way, Lucille Ball is also a Leo. She was so courageous and so funny. And so would an Aries Leo be just like that? Is there any part of you that's holding back? Because this weekend you could drink and get wild under the name of Double Fire. Astrology Answers told me to tell you that. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the four elements, my favorite topic, what your missing element is, and figure out how to get more balance in your life, just click the link in the description to grab your copy of my book, The Missing Element, today.